Ask Yuri. You've got a health and fitness question? I've got an answer. Hey guys, Yuri back with you. Today I've got a question from a German, I believe that's his first name, it's uh, German or Aaron, one or the other. And he's been saying he's been on a paleo diet for, for quite a while and he wakes up in the morning, he's got cold feet. And he's trying to figure out why that's happening, whether it's because he's, you know, he's on low carbs or if he's missing some specific nutrients. So that's a tough question to answer. Uh, this all could be, again, this could be a host of different possible reasons. First of all, it could indicate a low thyroid function. All right, that's probably the first thing that comes to my mind. Low body temperature just generally indicates sluggish metabolism, which means low temperature, right? So cold hands and feet would be a sign of that. Could also be related to adrenal fatigue to some degree because that's it kind of goes hand in hand with unreactive thyroid stuff. You could also have very little hair on your body, kind of like I do, and therefore you get cold very quickly. So I have cold hands and feet quite a bit. Um, simply because a couple things, I have an underactive thyroid, which I think a lot of people do, right? <laughs> I've got some adrenal issues, I've got very little hair in my body, and I've got very little percent body fat. So <laughs> those are four things not working in my favor of keeping me warm. That's why I'm always wearing sweaters and stuff. Uh, and because I work kind of sub below the, in the basement, more or less. I'm outside, I love the heat, that's, that's just because I get cold very easily. So, <clears throat> uh, sorry, I, I lost my voice playing soccer the other night, so I'm kind of you know, a little bit raspy. If, uh, so uh, again, I don't know what this specific situation is. Is that because of your diet? I don't think so. I mean, there's so many other factors involved there. What I would recommend is uh, just do a, a very simple check for your thyroid. Just do a basal uh, temperature check every morning. So what you do is take with a thermometer, before you even get out of bed, is put the thermometer underneath your armpit or in your mouth, whichever you want, and just record your temperature over four or five days. And if your temperature is below the normal body temperature, which I, I can't even remember, I think it's like 37 Celsius. <laughs> so I can't even, for whatever reason, just fall out of my mind. If it's below that consistently, then what that indicates is that you could have what's called a, a subclinical hyperthyroidism, which basically means that this is hypothyroidism or unreactive thyroid, which would not show up on a blood test. Yet, uh, that's, so for instance, that's what I have. I have uh, I've measured my, my temperature for, for instance, a, in a week, uh, day by day, and I noticed that my body temperature in the morning is like 35 Celsius, 36 Celsius, so pretty low, right? And so that's indica indicative of the fact that my thyroid is a little bit suppressed. Why is that? A couple things. I ate a lot of canned tuna when I was young, so I have high levels of mercury in my body, most likely, so I'm also getting rid of that. Which, the reason that's important is because mercury blocks the receptors for thyroid hormone. So therefore, thyroid hormone is not able to do what it's supposed to do. Boom, step one. Uh, step two, I also had high amounts of uh, corticosteroids when I was a kid through my like puffer, my inhalers and stuff, as well as eczema cream. So a lot of cortisone coming into my body, which offset or kind of uh, mitigated and, and ruined my adrenal glands in some, in some regard. So that also affects thyroid function, which obviously this whole thing, everything's connected, okay? So nothing is independent inside the body. So it's, again, it's tough to say why it's happening. You just have to do a bit of self-investigation and hopefully, you know, some of this, uh, this information has helped you out. Otherwise, you can go see a naturopath, go see, you know, go to your doctor, get some blood tests done. Uh, maybe you can get to the bottom of that. So hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully that gives you at least one or two, uh, one or two ideas of what you can do. And uh, thanks again for the question. If you guys have any other questions or if you just want to say, hey, Yuri, what's up? Don't forget to join me over at Facebook. Um, URL's right here. And that's where I am every single day. Just one, just one note, uh, don't send me personal, like, uh, messages on Facebook just put because I, there's there's so many I don't even I don't even look at them anymore just post them on my wall okay because what's the, what that's gonna do is I'm gonna be able to answer your question there and then other people will be able to see the answer and benefit from it as well okay so I would really appreciate if you could just post it on my wall don't send me a personal message because I can almost guarantee that I will not respond to it just because I've got thousands of messages sitting in there that I haven't even looked at All right. so thanks in advance I'll see you over there and have a great day